What is going on you guys? Welcome to today's video. Now I do have some bad news. The house was even before. We had three Mark III's, the R32, my wagon, Casey's wagon. We had three Mark III's, the Savoy, Miley, and the GTI. But sadly, we're out of balance now, boys. The Mark IVs have yet again outnumbered the Mark III's, but it's okay. This car won't be here for too long. Again, I bought this car just for the engine and maybe a few other parts off the car, but I've always wanted to do a 1.8 turbo swap, which this car has, you can see right there. Good old 1.8T. And something I didn't think about, this car being automatic, I was kind of sad because I wanted a manual, obviously, but being an automatic, more than likely this car was probably never beat on um, and probably never driven too hard. So we should have ourselves a very, very good platform for a future build. Now we will have more videos coming soon for the Jetta, but today we're actually heading back to the junkyard, working the Pink Floyd a little bit more. The Jetta here is gonna get a lot louder, but for now we'll give you the, uh, the basic cold start. All right, Jetta's put away, and we're taking the trusty wagon. So I just want to say, it is absolutely freezing out here today. But I'm trying my best to make sure I have regular content for you guys. So do me a favor, leave a like on this video. It does help me out a great deal. And ooh, boys, there she is. The Pink Floyd Golf in the LD6T, the electronic green. And my goodness, this color in the sun looks insane. We haven't actually seen the sun yet. Yeah. That's one of the best colors I think out there. Very similar to like surf green, but a bit lighter, I think, and a bit more metallic -y. Tons of flake in that. This car is sick. So if you missed the last video with this car, we had to add some coolant hoses, put some oil in the car, coolant in the car, added a battery, and the car started right up. It is extremely loud due to part of the exhaust being cut off. I totally forgot this car has already been processed into the yard, meaning all the fluids were drained out of it, including the fuel in the gas tank, which is why the car ended up dying. So today we have to add some gas. I brought some with me, but there is a small hole in the bottom of the gas tank, how we drain it out of there. So I need to plug that up. We're gonna put some gas later. I'll do a better fix and probably swap in a new one all together. Um, but for now, I said I'll plug it up, put some fuel in the car so it'll run and not die. And we need to get it out of here because there's a lot of, uh, a lot of cars in the way, but we get it out. I think our first order of business for today will be to go through and pull off these ugly seat covers. But the good thing about them is they've kept the seat quality in pretty good shape. This one's a little bit worn down in the bolstering, but the fabric itself is actually pretty good. So they're ugly, but they probably saved my seats, which is quite nice. Let's see what we got here. I think we'll have to just pull these headrests out. These things Velcro on the backside. I think it should pull through like that. There we go. There we go. Then I can get to this. Oh, this has the annoying one with like put like a flathead to hit the little pin. Oh, maybe not. No, I'm gonna need a flathead. So on some of these Mark Threes, the little pushing button's missing, and you have to get like a flathead to hit the little ring piece inside to release it. But at least we can see most of the seat, and it's actually pretty decent shape. Not bad. I would prefer to have like the Cabrio Sports Pink Floyd seat with the bigger bolstering, but overall, that's not bad. All the seat covers have been removed, and I'm very pleased to say the seats are actually in really good shape, which is sick. Ugly seat covers, but they save the seats, which is awesome. Again, this one's a bit blown out on the side. This one's actually in pretty good shape, but the fabric itself is all pretty good which is awesome a quick little clean and probably be perfect and i'll probably eventually get a new seat for this one because it's it's all blown out but other than that it looks sick and what's cool about these seats it has the cloth on top but the sides here and the side and the side of the headrest has the like leather stuff so kind of cool little two-tone fabric design i like it though i was also able to find the little coin tray here that was in the back of the car so i have that i have new pink floyd buttons coming so we'll finish the dash and other than that we pretty much have everything to complete the car the radio is here i got a new switch over here and a corner piece so we pretty much have everything to complete the car now it would be cool if it wasn't manual to have the actual pink floyd shift knob um but obviously it's automatic we don't have that but other than that we're gonna have all the pieces we'll have the dash pieces we'll have the radio the car will be pretty much complete which is sick so if we look in the back over here you can see where the hole was drilled in the tank uh the drain it right there now we do use earplugs to plug them back up i don't know if i put gas in it that'll hold completely um but i might we'll see i gotta say though i'm still blown away at how clean this car is like looking through all the jams here everything's super clean looking over the hatch all clean there are a few spots that aren't perfect a little scuff through here on the bumper a little bit of rust starting right there and then up on this corner 
there's a little bit of a, a nick or rust spot right there but overall the car is a beautiful color pink floyds in this color are actually pretty rare i found out and it has a sunroof and it's four door which i prefer for the two door and it has manual windows big seller there but the car is in honestly really good shape and there's one more spot i think over here a tiny little scuff um right in the corner but other than that I mean, for a 94 only has 120,000 kilometers on it this car is ridiculously clean and probably the coolest color for a pink Floyd. i think i don't know i'm excited to save it can't let this one die all right fork lift is ready i got my gasoline let's go fill her up and carl said the plug he put in there should hold the fuel so we should be fine drink up little golf you must live again it's cold it's really cold all right she's got some fuel good to go make sure we're not just pouring out the bottom which we are not which is fantastic so she's good to go now i have a uh, massive line of cars that's in my way which will get cleared out of here and then she's coming out look at that even got a fancy locking gas cap how cool actually real quick i'm curious to see i haven't checked the vent in this car yet i want to see where it's from i don't know all the um the letters but i know w is wolfsburg so let's see where the pink floyd was made at what do we got back there um oh right there bam she's got out of the s we had a w we've got ourselves another wolfsburg car boys the savoy is from wolfsburg the pink floyd is also from wolfsburg how sick let's go ahead and start up real quick we should have fuel now my gauge should actually move a little bit this time yeah there it is before it was like this it didn't even move at all now it moved a little bit so we're good to go brace yourselves she's loud Wait for it. There it is. full blown race car race car She's a loud one. She is definitely a loud one, but kind of sounds sick. We'll, we'll fix that for sure, but it's kind of cool. Okay, now cars must move. Let's go. And just like that, we have ourselves a clear pathway to the Pink Floyd. And my goodness, this color in the sun looks incredible. You know what? this car is filthy all the trim is faded yo this car just looks too good in the sun look at this color absolutely love it all right so the plan now do a couple little back and forth maneuvers and she'll be home free
car steering, so it was a struggle to turn the wheel, but she's out. Woo, buddy! Let's go! Oh, yeah, this car, absolutely no, no power steering, but it's okay. The trans seems to be okay so far. Oh, you break. Oh, she's a monster. All right, leave her right here for now. Actually, we should get a quick burnout. Might as well. Make sure she's broken in. <laughs> this thing's fun. Race car. She just looks so good. She is no longer in the uh, the death row. She's out. Now she's not out of the yard yet. She'll probably stay here for a little while longer because my house is kind of full right now, but she's out of death row. Man, this car looks so good. So glad I found this thing back there and we're able to save it. It's a beautiful car, it really is. It really, really is. So I think what the plan is going to be, this car is going to stay here for now. And as soon as I finish pulling the engine out of the 1.8 T Jetta and the car leaves my house and I have that space open again, um, this car will come home. There's just not enough space at the house right now. I mean, there is space, like driveway space, but to play musical cars every single day and move things around all the time, you kind of annoying. So for now, this car will stay here. But overall, I'm super, super glad this worked out. We had to save this one. I mean, I can't save all the cars, but... I'm glad we saved this one. Like I said before, the ultimate goal is to have a nice piece of land, like 10 acres or so, have me a shop and a space where I can just do whatever I want, but ultimately collect as many cars as I possibly want. That's the ultimate goal. We'll get there one day. Last thing for the day, how to put in some work with a razor. Got the 39 off this window and the one off this window. She's no longer marked for death. She was out of the crush line, but she's all the numbers on her. So she was still marked for death, but no more. Clean window, clean window. She's officially good to go. All right, well, that's pretty much it for this car for now. I'm gonna go find a place to park her, and then as soon as I have her at home, we can bring her back home. But for now, that's pretty, uh, pretty much it. Oh man, I love it, I love it. All right, it is freezing, it's time to go home. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Do not forget to be thankful for every single day. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.